from the great from Great Britain, Colchester, 18 years old, third Junior Grand Prix season, competed at the Senior Grand Prix last year in Sheffield, and 17th at the Junior World Championship. 67.85, personal best in the short program from last season. And he'll skate to should be dancing by the BGs in Disco Inferno. Styling out the end finish position for Ed Appleby from Great Britain. The first British skater to win a Junior Grand Prix medal in 19 years when he won bronze a couple of seasons ago. And laying down his campaign to repeat that again here in the first triple axel of the men's shop for Grand Ted. I remember that medal when he won that in Courchevel, I believe. And uh, that was such a big moment for him, of course. And uh, I, I think he talked a little earlier today about improving the performance overall. And I think he did that. And what great saves on, we won't see that here. We just, it's a couple issues here we're working with, but here's some of the step sequence. But what a great save in the triple axe. So a little late with a free leg, but pushed it back. Beautiful triple lutz, triple flip, triple toe as well. So really solid on the technical elements. And you can see later on in the step sequence, he brought some joy and some energy to that as well skating clean and then just Ooh. as you said a good cover up <laughs> on that little slip there yeah that's I love great how he styled that out so and your impressions respect. good job eh well really good job and respect to wendy ross working on the choreography and also john wicker a coach that he's been with for many 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 years i think for the entirety of his skating education and they've worked so hard and knowing the backstory knowing that you know skaters that come from relatively smaller skating nations have to have big aspirations to elevate their standards to compete internationally and I know that he's landed quads in practice and, and he's made that triple axel fairly consistent and that's total respect and admiration for the team and hopefully now he's going to get closer again to repeating the success he had a couple of years ago and I'm, I'm sure that the skating skills will still continue to be something that they'll need to hone and develop to have 
you know, competitive outlook against the Japanese where Flow and Glide is so impressive. Yeah, 67.85 personal best, and he'll come close to that in this case. Good solid technical skate, improved, and we're still early in the season. He's such a nice young man, there's no question. He comes off Absolutely. the edge with a nice smile. John Wick, of course, his coach there. As you mentioned, they've been and together a long time and a great relationship. Absolutely, and his brother competes and competed as well. And a really great family, really, really good family. Let's take a look at the scores for Edward Appleby from Great Britain, 66.16. And that'll put Edward currently into first place. I'm not sure what they're thinking about it right now, but <laughs> look how close it is. Four one hundredths of a point Oof. difference. Wow, that's tight. 